Graham Alexander, a terrific win here at Burton this afternoon. One of your sides best on the road, I would imagine. Uh, Results-wise, yeah, definitely. I think we've um, we've played better better football, but uh, we're, I don't think it was a day for that. Um, you know, with the pitch being as it was, we had to play the, the right game, and thought we we tried to do that. Um, but Burton are a, a very good opponent as well, so um, yeah, they came back at us twice. You know, we're a bit fortunate for two home two home goals, um, but the mentality shown by by our players. To, to come back again and come back again and, and then win the game it was, it was great to see and it's um, you know it's, it's great when you you can see your players putting everything into the game to get a result and that's what they did. And you pushed up from the start, mindful no doubt of what happened at Highbury in the league game when you were out of the game at half time. Yeah, yeah, well, it's, it's one of those where you know, we had to have a positive start and, and, and try and put a burden on the back foot. And we probably didn't do that till probably about 10, 15 minutes in. Um, and when we did get in behind them, you know, Borley's come up with a, a superb finish, a fantastic goal, and uh, and I thought we played some really good stuff after that. You know, the, the equaliser was really fortunate to come off Robbo's face. I think um, really disappointed we've got the lead again. Pondy getting his 50th uh, for Fleetwood, which is a fantastic achievement. Um, due as well, it was due. All, all the set piece, but it was a great header, and uh, and another unfortunate goal, you know, our own goal again. Um, but we kept coming back and um, Parky's come up with a great finish and then Junior finished it off at the end and you know thoroughly deserved. Yeah, I suppose when you see not one but two own goals then you, you start to think it's never going to be our day against Burton, don't you? Well, you know, it's hard not to think negatively when, when things like that go against you, but the boys out there, they, they never throw an effort. They were determined to, to get a result out of today's game and Burton were as well. It was, it was, a, it was a proper end-to-end -end game between two good teams on a difficult pitch and you know, but um, you know we've done well to get the game on. Really, you know, obviously the delay kickoff, but um, you know I'll only talk about my, my team. And I, I thought their their effort and commitment to the to the cause was fantastic. And um, you know uh, we, we we're buzzing with the three points. But now we have to concentrate on Scunthorpe's game. Yeah, the work rate was tremendous all afternoon, wasn't it? On what must have been a sapping pitch. Yeah, yeah, that, that's the thing. You know, it's it's more I was getting through it, but it's, it does sap the energy really quickly, and uh, we had to cover a lot of ground uh, today. And um, you know, allied to the game on Monday as well, it, it was a difficult one. But we we solely focused on today's game, and that, that's what we spoke to the players about. Didn't didn't even mention the Scunthorpe game because this was the one that we wanted to get a result in, and um, because it's our next game. And uh, I thought the lads, you know, some of the blocks that were going on and the defending were, were fantastic, and um, and that's what it's going to take to to be successful. And um, you know, we'll have to look after the lads now in the you know, less than two days before we play another game. But um, they're good pros and they're fit lads, and, and they'll be right. Yeah, and four wins out of four, it's going to take you into that top of the another top of the table game in great spirit, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. You know, it's, um, we knew the the weekend was going to be tough. You know, two um, teams in the top three away from home. Uh, but you know, if we want to be successful, we, we have to come to these games and relish them. And I thought we did that today. And uh, you know, it's just fantastic to get the three points. You know, the, the supporters were uh, patient as well. You know, seeing if the game was on, they, they cheered every time the ball rolled. You know, when the referee was rolling, it was it's great. You know, because they wanted the game on, our players wanted the game on, we wanted the game on. Even though we've got a game on Monday, we were desperate to play this game because um, you know we, we were ready for it. And um, yeah, we're just really happy to get the three points for everyone. And those supporters seemed to swell in number throughout the afternoon, didn't they? And at the end, they were chanting away, and they'll be down the road, down the M62 again on Monday, won't they? Fantastic support. Yeah, brilliant. It's brilliant, you know, because um, it is. You know, we, we do a lot of miles, but you know, and then they're, they're desperate for the game. You know, especially after the, the Wickham disappointment. You know, being called off so late, mm. and we were thinking, is it going to be another one of those? But you know, fortunately, we got the game on, and then their voice was heard all the way through the game. And um, you know, I think the players responded to that, and I think they responded to the players, and, that, and that's what it's going to have to be. But uh, yeah, we know they'll be behind us on, on Monday as well. Brilliant. Congratulations to you and your team, Graham, and uh, see you Monday. Yeah, will do. Cheers. Thank you.